Did you know Blackberries once one of the most popular brands for smartphones? Hey guys, I hope you're all well and safe. It's Jack from Tech Fusions here and today in this video we're going to be going all the way back to 2009. Yes, that's right, 2009. In this video we're going to be looking at the Blackberry Curve A520. So, can you still use this phone in 2020? Let's find out. So I actually bought this phone all the way back in 2010 when I visited the USA. As you can see, this Blackberry has the old AT&T logo, which shows just how old this device is. So this phone, of course, was originally locked to AT&T, and I had to then try and unlock it when I arrived back in the UK. I remember it being a real pain and I'm so grateful now how easy it is to unlock phones. So when you take a first look at the phone, the design is actually pretty slick. The screen is a tiny 2.4 inches with a screen resolution of 240 to 320 pixels. That is crazy when you compare phone resolutions to smartphones today. But I remember thinking at the time, this was a great phone. Of course, the two other things you notice when you first get this phone are the keyboard and the trackpad, which are two things that BlackBerry were famous for. And it's also what made BlackBerry such great phones. Let's take a look at the keyboard. I have to say, even for today's standards, typing on this keyboard is a joy. I love going back to using a physical keyboard. This is something you don't really get on phones today. So it was so nice being able to go back to it. However, now I'm so used to using touchscreen devices such as the iPhone, it actually took a little bit of getting used to. The keys actually seem quite small and they were quite tricky to type on. And I think this is just because I've been using touchscreen for such a long period of time. But I do know that when I use this phone, back in the day, I did not have that problem at all. And again, at that point, I wasn't used to using touchscreen. One thing I did notice about the keyboard is it was actually a little bit shaky. So clearly the build quality wasn't as good as I thought, but then even when you think about it, it's still working over 10 years later. Going through the old music player just reminded me of some of the things I used to listen to in my teenage years. So when I use this device, I haven't really touched it since maybe 2010 at the latest. So the music on here certainly represented my teenage years. Anyone from the UK remembers the band End Up. I had lots of that on my phone and it was actually a lot of fun going through the music player and seeing what was there. As I did use this phone at the time, of course, this is something that all those songs from when I was younger are still on the phone. And one thing that was actually quite nice is that it was already loaded on the phone, so I didn't have to download anything, I didn't need internet, it just worked. Something you don't always get on phones today. Another great thing is of course this phone had the 3.5 milliliter headphone jack. Now of course at this time, this was on almost every phone, but it's nice going back to it. And even now I don't really have a need for a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You still have some headphones lying around which you can use. So again, at least they work for them, which is always a plus. So after spending a few hours listening to music, then of course I thought I should play some games on the device. Now the phone only had four games on there. One of them is the classic um, Brick Breaker, which again, you can see on pretty much any Blackberry or most phones for that time. But again, it's nice they come preloaded with some games on and they are lots of fun. The phone actually has a Blackberry World icon installed onto it, but unfortunately, because this phone is so old, you can no longer use it. And every time I try to use it, nothing happened. It wouldn't even let you go onto it. So. That makes it quite hard to tell what great apps would have been on this phone when it existed. Of course, BlackBerry are known for having quite a bad app store. So it's not too surprising that there's not much there. And of course, we can't see what was there then. 
the BlackBerry actually comes with a two megapixel camera. This was quite standard actually for phones at the time, even the iPhone 3G, which is around at the same time, had a two megapixel camera as well. So the phone camera wasn't great, but it was up on par with other cameras for the time. Here are some examples of some pictures I took using the phone. Let me know what you think. These photos aren't great, but let's remember this camera is over 10 years old. I've got to be honest, using the internet was not a great experience whatsoever. In fact, it was a horrible experience. I tried to use a few apps and to be honest, the phone barely handled these apps. I tried to go onto Google, that worked okay, but when you tried to do things like go onto YouTube, it just didn't work at all. But again, think about how old this phone was and I guess you think, what do you really expect for a phone that is 10 years old? Does the internet work? Yes. Would I use it now? No. And there's good reason for that. And of course, internet on phones has come such a long way since then. So it's quite hard to expect this device to be on par with anything um, which you would see today. But I didn't realise how bad the internet was. But again, when I think back, the websites would have been designed for a type of device like this with the mobile versions. And again, it just doesn't, doesn't work now, but I guess that's expected. Overall, I have to say using this phone really reminded me of going back into my teenage years and I did have some great memories with this phone. And I think when you compare it to phones now, it's not really fair to do it considering how old this phone is. Now, would I use this phone now? Absolutely not. I would not use this phone now. But again, when I did use it in 2010, this phone works fine. It did the job and I had no problems with it at all. It's only when you look back at it and you realize how much it didn't have, but at the time, this phone had a lot. And it's important to note how good this phone was for the time. Obviously, one of the downsides is you can't actually access a lot of the features now, but of course, BlackBerry as a brand is very different to how it was then. At this time, BlackBerry was completely dominating the smartphone market and gradually, of course, Apple and Android overtook BlackBerry, but that was for another video. It's a shame BlackBerry have basically disappeared because they did have some really good phones. And although, of course, they have created some phones recently, I do wonder what would the world of smartphones be like if BlackBerry stayed dominant throughout this time. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think. Did any of you have a BlackBerry back in the day? If so, what BlackBerry did you have and what did you enjoy about it? What didn't you enjoy about it? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you can give the video a thumbs up. We would really appreciate that. And of course, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe to Tech Fusion and turn that notification bell on so you can see all of our latest tech related videos. We are also planning to make more videos around retro tech. So let us know what you guys want to see and we can look to see if we can make a video on it. My name